My family lives out west. And we go out nearly every year to visit, to have family reunions and holidays, things like that together. And um, we usually fly, but we have always wanted to do a big cross-country trip with the kids. We had thought it might always be fun to do uh, a road trip out west and to see and you know, as much stuff as we could see along the way. So our original plan was to go out I-90 and end up in Utah. We were going to have a big family reunion with all my extended cousins and aunts and uncles for the 4th of July because the 4th of July had been this important holiday for us as a family. We were in the parade as little kids and so we were going to go visit the parade and we were just going to be together. But we found out that my mom had breast cancer and she had to start her treatments and so she couldn't go to Utah. So the family reunion was kind of scrapped. And so we decided to drive straight to Las Vegas and all of Noelle's family decided to meet in Las Vegas. Our, in our plan, we decided that we, we were going to do one thing a day was our big thing, that every day we would see one big stop. So I ended up driving most of the way though because I actually just like driving. Um, there's something I, I find fun about it and it seems that everyone is just happy to not drive. So we started off uh, in the morning, I think it was a uh, Tuesday, eventually we got close to Buffalo where we turned off to go to Niagara Falls. And it started to feel exciting that we were going to go, you know, see this thing and make this stop. Um, I, I remember that excitement as we pulled into Niagara Falls. When we got there and started, you know, you know, walking towards the falls and it just started to feel like I was on an adventure. Exciting to be there, it was exciting to think about, you know, the, uh, the time we had ahead of us. Uh, I was really impressed with the, the waterfall, Niagara Falls. I'm seeing that, I remember uh, on one hand, just you know, looking at the, all the scenery and seeing how beautiful it was. And then on the other hand, just looking at um, the massive amount of water that was just you know, falling over the edges, it was kind of unbelievable. We made our way to a, little, a place outside of Chicago. The plan was to go into Chicago that morning and um, see, you know, see Chicago. And, and that was also, you know, people had said, you know, don't even bother because the traffic's so bad. But we thought, like, you know what, we're here, let's do it. So we went in and uh, we had gotten up so early that there was no traffic on our way into Chicago. And we went there to see uh, the Millennial Cloud, or um, it looks like a, it looks like a gigantic bean. It's a sculpture that's outside, and I think it's called Millennial Park. Um, you know, it turns out there's several outdoor art installations, and and so we went there, and it was, it was. Uh, one of those things that was, you know, it kind of looks cool in photos, but it was really cool to see in person. In part, you know, one of the things I didn't think about that would be cool about it was how it reflected the city. And um, when we were there together, how it reflected all of us. And also one of the things that was neat about it is we got there so early, no one else was there at first, uh, except for a few, a few people. Um, and then we walked over to another art installation, which were these um, gigantic um, LED displays that displayed portraits of people. And, um, you know, and they were kind of these really great looking portraits on their own, but then, all, you know, they would change periodically. And, and they're kind of in the middle of a large uh, reflecting pool. But then, like, all of a sudden, unexpectedly, uh, a spout of water would come out their mouth, almost like they were spitting at everyone. And um, so, uh, we, you know, we, we laughed about the, uh, the those um, LED displays, which were probably, like, I don't know, like, maybe three or four stories high. But the problem came that night, because we had spent a full day in Chicago. We must have left eight or nine o'clock at night. And we still, maybe not that late, probably closer to like six, but we still had like a 13 hour drive ahead of us before we made it to the next hotel. I think it was our longest stretch of driving. And I just remember being so bored that entire time, just wanting to get to that hotel. But it's funny because those are the, the moments I was most bored or, or tired or kind of the ones I look back on most fondly. We went to the Rocky Mountain National Park in Colorado. We went to Arches National Park in southern Utah. And then we ended up in Las Vegas. We 
So when we were in Las Vegas, um, my whole family, I'm, I'm one of six children. And so all of my brothers and sisters were there with their spouses and their children. And because of the cancer, it was a little bit maybe different than most of our family reunions would be. We, um, my brother plays with the Las Vegas Philharmonic and they were doing a concert, like an outdoor concert with fireworks. And so we went to that. That was very fun on the 4th of July. I remember kind of feeling like I never really got to catch up on my sleep. We had a family picture taken. We went bowling, just um, little activities with all of us together. We were there for about five days and it was a really nice break because we didn't have to constantly be in the car. So when, after we left Las Vegas, we were, decided to take a Southern route because we needed to end up in Virginia because two of our children were gonna go to a camp there. One of the things that is good about my family being out West is that we had already seen a lot of things. So we'd already been to Yellowstone and we'd already been to the Grand Canyon. So we didn't see those things. We went to our first uh, stop on our way home, which was, um, uh, I can't remember the name of the town, but it was outside of the Petrified Forest in Arizona. From there, we decided to go through New Mexico. Uh, I think we went along 40, went north to Santa Fe, further north to Taos, and um, on our way to Taos, I remember just some really fascinating scenery, I think. From there we left to get um, head back towards Route 40, which took us through Texas. Um, and in Texas we stopped at a place called Cadillac Ranch, which is some old rich guy, um, I don't remember, I think back in the 60s, who was kind of eccentric. And um, he, on his land, he, uh, I don't remember how many, but he buried several Cadillacs in the ground um, vertically, and they, they kind of stuck out of the ground. You can go and spray paint on them, so we spray painted the Cadillac Ranch. Yeah, from there we drove, and I think we stopped at um, the Oklahoma City uh, bombing uh, memorial, and we, we checked that out. Um, uh, when was that? Like in 1990, uh, I think it was like 1994 or five, 1995, I think, uh, the bombing took place. And it was really interesting to just kind of feel the, um, uh, the sense of dedication people had to what happened there and memorializing it and memorializing the, the lives of the people there. So from there, um, let's see, I think our next stop from there was um, Virginia. And we were stopping in um, Virginia um, because on Monday, uh, my two oldest sons, Nicholas and Holden, had a, um, you know, kind of like a summer camp type thing that they were happened to be doing in Virginia. When, when we finally made it to the end, um, you know, we got dropped off in Virginia. We were spending a week there. Uh, I just remember being really happy that we uh, wouldn't have to drive anymore. That we finally could have some days of just uh, walking instead of driving forever. Um, but at the same time, it was kind of sad because this this monumental trip where we saw so much, we did so much, and then it was all just kind of coming to a close. It was kind of sad. Then it was just the four of us, my husband, I, and our two youngest kids, and we were ready to go home. And so we just drove straight home from Virginia that day, and we were done traveling. I'm thinking how weird it was that we were home after that long trip, and um, pretty excited that uh, we had done it. We had gone 6,557.1 miles. We had driven through 21 states. We had stayed in over seven hotel rooms, and we had just really pushed ourselves you know, pretty sad that it was over and uh, I was gonna go back to work the next day.